Okay. So here I have uh, candy cane. I folded this with six by six inches origami paper, the kind that uh, you have. These were tiny, folded out of a tiny paper, three inches by three inches. Uh, I made a greeting card out of this one. Um, so each one of these candy cane is actually folded out of one sheet of paper, but I use the type of paper that's one color, like this one is red on one side, white on the other. Yeah, I use the one sheet of paper that's like, uh, that has a color contrast. So it came out like this. So yeah, we'll be folding this. You can make greeting cards out of this. These can be like embellishment on gift wrapping or like uh, you can actually just hook this on the Christmas tree, right? Um, so let's get started. This one is quite easy. Okay. Anybody ready? Okay, let's see. Oh, somebody folded a frog before? Anna folded a frog. Awesome. Yeah, is that the frog that jumps? That's really fun, right? I have done that before too. Oh, actually, I happen to have it right by me. I can show you. I don't have a time to show you how to fold this right now, but you can look it up on the internet. Like on, you can find it instruction on like YouTube. Yeah, it's a frog that jumps. I have to fold a frog. Yeah, you have yeah. folded a frog before too. Yes. Um. Yeah. So this is really fun. Okay. So anyways, we'll be folding candy cane. So start with a six by six inch origami paper. Okay. Once you have one sheet in front of you, we are going to orient the paper like a baseball field in front of you, like this. And then you're going to pinch close to the bottom corner and then bring it to the top corner. So you're gonna wiggle until both corners perfectly match. You see that? Once the corners perfectly match, you're going to slide your finger down. So there's no bubble in between. The corners stay together. And then once you reach the bottom here, you slide your finger all the way to the right, all the way to the left. And do you see how I'm using my fingertip and the sliding it across? You need to give a little force. You need to press it down hard enough so that you crease it nice and firm. See how it stays really flat? Okay. You don't want to just lightly crease it. You want to firmly crease it all the way. Okay. So you want nice and crisp crease each time. Okay. So like that. Slide it across. You can do it a few times. Okay. Corners stay matched. It should look like a snow mountain right now. Yeah? Okay, awesome. Okay. You're going to now unfold the paper and you're going to rotate the paper so that the crease that you just made is vertical. Vertical means going up to down. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing you did before. The bottom corner, meet the top corner. And then slide your finger down, slide your finger right and left. Okay. Keep your paper on the table instead of picking up the paper and try to fold. If you try to fold 
up in the air. You cannot crease it as well. You want to keep the paper on the table. Slide it. Just, just press it against the table. Okay? All right. You guys keeping up with me? Okay. Now we're going to unfold it again. And we have a crease like a cross now. Okay. Now we are going to bring this bottom corner almost to the top, but not quite to the top. Okay, so bring the bottom corner just below the top corner. And do you see how this this corner is pointing along this crease in the center. You see that? Okay. And you want this little gap to be maybe a tiny bit smaller than your pinky nail. You see what I mean? This ultimately is going to become the stripe on your candy cane, okay? So this gap could be more or less, depending on how thick of a stripe that you want. But usually I make it about this big, okay? So this gap should be the same thickness all the way around. If you are pointing this, this corner to be somewhere along this crease, it will be that way. This gap should be the same thickness all the way around. Anyways, once you take this corner to where it should go, slide your finger to the bottom and then crease it. Okay. This is what it should look like. Anybody doing okay? All right. So, okay, once you got this far, we're going to turn this paper over to the other side. And then on the other side, we are going to fold a band at the bottom here, from the bottom here. So bring this bottom edge up and this is gonna decide how thick of a candy cane it's gonna turn out to become. You probably want something like the say that the thickness of your finger, okay? More or less depending on how thick you want it. And then when you do this, make sure that that candy cane's thickness is all about the same all the way, right and left. You can eyeball this, but also make sure that this crease lines up all the way, okay? And you wanna start creasing from here this point and then slide it outward this way and this way. Okay. Like this. Okay. Okay, crease well. Ready for the next step? Okay. So now we are going to crease right here right here, this edge right here. And then we are going to keep rolling this up, crease right here next. And then you're going to roll it 
up and up and up and keep it nice and tight okay you don't want this candy cane to be thicker than when you what you started with okay so like this 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 all the way to the top and then once you get to the these corners these tend to get these these flaps tend to get just unfolded right so this is where you can just put a little bit of glue okay so like under this layer of the triangle and then this layer also so i think i forgot you forgot what how to like uh, fold with the, like with more stripe yeah so you just you do, you need to keep i'm gonna go back and show you again okay have you gotten this far yes okay you fold it right here fold it up again and again and again 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 until you form a stick yeah. okay so this is what it looks like okay All right, so now this is one long striped stick. You want the candy cane to have this curb. So what you're going to do is to fold, bend the stick like one, I mean, uh, you want this, um, you want this end to be a little bit longer than this end, right? So you want, you will start to bend right about there and make a 90, 90 degree bend. And then you're gonna fold it again you can go this way or this way, it doesn't matter. You bend it again, this way. Another 90 degree fold. And then that's it. That's the candy cane. And um, This is optional, but if you wanted this candy cane to be a little more three dimensional, you can push from both priests, priest sides and then just kind of make kind of a roundish shape. But that's optional. You can keep it flat. And if you keep it flat, you can collage it to make it like a card or something as well. So, okay. Anybody got to finish? Yeah? Awesome. Yeah, is it looking great. Let me see. I'm gonna see. Yeah. Great. Anybody did, did awesome. Was that difficult for you? This one was fairly simple, right? I hope so. I hope you were all able to finish. Okay.